Hi there. So I just wanted to share something with you that we've been working on for about two months now. And today we've cracked it or partly cracked it. So I'm really excited to show you it. And that is full site editing and WooCommerce and specifically being able to edit the single product page using our WooBuilder Blocks plugin. We've had WooBuilder Blocks for a couple of years now. It lets you customize the WooCommerce single product page using Gutenberg. So it's quite a mature product, but today for the first time, cracked getting it working with full site editing. It's still a bit rough around the edges, but this is how it works. This site is running the 2022 theme, which again has some rough around the edges formatting, especially when we're talking about WooCommerce. But this is the full site editing experience that you're gonna get using WooBuilder blocks. So if I go to templates here, this is standard full site editing. So this is where you can actually edit the site and the templates on the site. You'll see down here at the bottom, we have this brand new template, exciting, called the WooBuilder single product, which is the single product, the WooCommerce single product. Here's one I've created already, and you'll see all I've done is actually use Gutenberg and WooBuilder blocks to construct this. This is a very simple product layout, but I wanted to show you a quick example of it. But it's made up of WooBuilder blocks. We have a whole bunch of WooBuilder blocks now available, and they're all here, uh, that we've actually built over the last two years. So the standard ones like product title, product image, and add to cart, and product price. But we've got some extra ones as well, like split testing stock level and some other cool exciting stuff as well but that's the idea you build it with WooBuilder blocks but now you can build it using full site editing so let me just make a couple of changes here i'm going to change this font size of my product title block my WooBuilder product title block now it's going to pull these in dynamically when we use this and apply this site wide so this is going to apply at the moment to all my products and i think the other thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to switch these columns around so i'm just playing around here with the template this is the base woocommerce single product template then when i go to any of my products now all those products will inherit that new style that i've applied to it so you're building the template using gutenberg that's the whole idea behind this so it's now super easy to design your product pages create templates using full site editing and woo builder blocks you can also do these on the individual level as well. So if you want just one product to have its own styling, you could absolutely do that. Let's just make this a bit bigger and maybe I'll change the font color just to show you this in practice. Let's change the font color to black, save it out. And again, when I go back to my site now, all those products in my store will have that, that new template apply to it. There we go. So there we go. I think it's really, really exciting. The possibilities are obviously huge for this. There's a few things we need to tidy up and fix. Then we need to start to think about conditional logic as well. But the first the first release of full site edit Woo Builder blocks will be this. It will allow you to use full site editing to create your templates and edit your templates just using Gutenberg in a very simple way using the site editor. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it interesting. I'll do another video once we're ready to rock and roll and release it. Thanks again.